Hi guys, so this week I wanted to do a holiday makeup look because obviously it's the holidays and Vlogmas has just gotten me in the spirit seeing all these Christmas videos up. So I really wanted to do a festive look. I wore this look to my sister's birthday and I got like a lot of compliments for the lip color and stuff like that. And I just think it looks so Christmassy and cute and um, yeah, so obviously you can change lip up if you like it, if you want it darker, more intense, or just a simple red is always festive. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and just keep watching. So the first half got really blurry and the audio is horrible, so I'm just skipping me doing my foundation and going right onto concealer. I'm just blending in my concealer with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender because who's paying $32 for a sponge? Not me. <laughs> so now I'm just going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this powder, bruh, it's, I've had it for like five years and it's still going hard and like it's hit pan but like you know it's fine. And like everything's rubbed off but honestly powders just so like your face is not a shiny grease ball you know i really want to try the laura mercier powder but like once again i've been saving up so like i don't want to splurge a lot i'm like trying to hold myself back because like i still go out for breakfast like sometimes or like i'll still like like buy myself shit so like i really want to like be like okay i'm not buying luxury items i'm not buying luxury items Anyways, this is in the shade 011. And then I go in with the shade in light palette by Kat Von D. This is my ish. As you can see, I use the two middle colors. It's really sad. I've hit pan on both of them. <laughs> but I get my Real Tech Sneak Brush again. And in that middle banana powder, I literally just freaking go ham in there and get some. And then I go under my eyes because this is all the baking I can freaking do in my life. Like everyone's baking with the Laura Mercier and I'm like, bruh, hit me up. I want that. And then I'll just kind of go in and brush it out. So I'm not really baking. I'm just kind of like packing it in there, you know? I'm going with the Kat Von D brush that goes with this um, palette and with the banana powder. I'm like literally doing extra under my eye. Because I'm weird. I go under my nose and on my chin to brighten up my face. And then with the middle bronzer color, I'm just going to contour. I really want to get a cream contour kit. I feel like it looks so fun. And like, I wonder if it works better, you know? I'm going to my jawline, double chin. Um, I'm going in with blush, and this is the NARS Deep Throat, and I'm just taking a real technique brush. Now I'm going in with highlighter, and like I feel like highlight is so weird for me, because like I'll do it at the beginning, and then I'll do it at the end again. But anyways, I'm using a Morphe Fan Brush, and I'm taking mostly the white side. This is in the Candlelight Glow by Too Faced. And I'm just going to hit that cheekbone. Go up, and down. I want you guys to see it, but my freaking light is not on. I usually use my phone flashlight, like hashtag filming hack. Just do it like mostly on my cheekbones, bring it up a little bit, tip of my nose, and then I'll do my Cupid's bow, but I'll like redo that after usually. So that's basically my face, and now I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I've been really liking, um, the new Anastasia Brow Definer instead of the Brow Wiz because it's a lot thicker as you can see and like I don't know I really like my eyebrows like my eyebrows aren't thick but like I try to make them like a little bit more thick without looking like drawn on you know and I feel like this is so nice to do that with so I'm just going to do my brows. Okay, I have to clean the, that up. Okay, to clean up my eyebrows, I literally, as you can see, I smudged the whole freaking top. Living for my eyebrows. Okay, wait. Ugh. This pisses me off. I just used, bruh. I almost grabbed the wrong brush. I just used concealer. 
to like get that shit out of my brows, bitch. No one wants you. So on top of that, to set them, I use the darkest color in the um, contour palette with a um, Still Spa Essentials brush. So I'm gonna hit that brow. And I don't use a lot of trust. Like I'll pat it and put it through and like chill. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set by MAC in shade Quiet Brunette. And I'm just gonna put that through my brows to set them. Then to clean up my brows, I like to use like a, just a, a random concealer. This is my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. That's me. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a dot, dot. Dot, 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 and I'll do like a dot in the middle and like kind of play around with it, you know? Um, honestly, I love it. It's such a look. Okay, so now finally we can move on to eyes. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. But today, I'm gonna be basing my eye look off of this gorgeous palette. Honestly, we have to take a moment for this palette. This one is the um, holiday one. It comes in a holiday like little dollhouse kind of uh, gift set by Too Faced. Too Faced is my favorite brand. I freaking love Too Faced. Hashtag spots. <laughs> Just kidding, I have 30 subscribers. But this is Christmas in New York and it's by, it's the chocolate shop in this cocoa infused Embra. Huh. First of all, that's so cute. Second of all, this is $72 and um, at Sephora, but it has so many colors and there's this, like nice shape, like literally like that would be sick to do look, a look on, like bruh. And then also there's so many nice shimmery ones and then also a lot nice uh, matte ones. And then there's a blush, contour, and highlight. This contour is really nice, it's the Chocolate Soleil, so like I feel like that's the most popular popular one because it smells like a freaking chocolate bar. For my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use all Morphe brushes. So the set I have of Morphe brushes is the Badger set. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested because these are my four, first like Morphe brushes because everyone talks about Morphe brushes, you know? So I was like, you know what? It's time, Sydney. So I got myself some. But yeah, so today I'm gonna go for a silver like eyeshadow look with a wing and I can't, I don't want to make it like crazy glittery but I want to make it like pretty you know like because like I want the main focus to be the berry lip so I'm gonna go in with the um, shadow insurance by Too Faced 24 hour it also came in this um, kit and and also came with a small better than sex mascara and also a um, melted lipstick by theirs, it was in, uh, I forget what color it was in, but I don't have it with me, but it was so freaking nice. But yeah, it came with, a, for $72, I thought it was a really good product, because sometimes, like a palette like this alone would probably be freaking $70, or like 65 at least, and you get a miniature um, mascara, so I wanted to like, I thought that was like worth sharing, because it was so nice. Okay, I lie, um, some are gonna be Real Technique, so I'm gonna be using the Real Technique Deluxe crease brush and taking uh, Chocoholic, it's just uh, the matte brown right here. I'm just gonna be putting that in my crease just for like a transition shade because all oh, my dog's coming. Hey. Hi. Oh, look at your face. You're like a cute golden retriever. Nah. He's like, bro, I'm so sleepy. Oh, he's so freaking cute. Look at my puppy. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, back to the look. Goodbye. Okay, literally, can you please back up? Back up, back up, rubbers, rubbers. And then I'm just going to be using the Morphe brush, and I'm going to wet it a little bit. I'm going to be really bougie and put some of my water in this little, like, bloop. I'm so fucking weird. But I'm just going to, like, literally damp it, and then... Cause then I'm gonna put it in. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna put it in this color Indulge to start off with. It's a really nice, oh shit, you didn't see that. Indulge. <laughs> it's a really nice silvery pigmented sparkly color and these are really pigmented. Let's drop that shit everywhere. Um, so yeah, also, I'm dumb and forgot to tell you guys this, but this eyeshadow, any sparkly glittery pigmented eyeshadow is gonna have fallout. So if you guys want, you can like, just make sure you do your um, concealer maybe afterwards. But I just went all in there, you know? Who cares if you get sparkles on your cheeks? It's all about Christmas. I'm gonna go in with the Still Spa Essentials brush and taking Guilt Free, which is right under the color, which is a matte gray. I'm gonna take a, like some of that. I don't know why I was hesitant there, but I'm gonna take some of that and put it in the crease as well because I want this to look very like wintry and like I don't know. I just want to, like, also this mirror is gross on the back because there's a freaking sticker there, so <laughs> ignore that. Now we're gonna get a smaller brush, more dense. Well, now I'm gonna be taking Sugared Raisin, which is another deep gray color with a hint of purple, and I'm going to pack on this glitter, and I'm gonna go on my lid. And in patting motions, I'm just gonna pat that on there. Yes, Sugared Raisin. <laughs> This one is so freaking nice. Also, my mouth is open, so ignore my stupidness, but this one, this is where the command comes in. Also, I noticed that if you don't wet, it does, it's not as pigmented, obviously, because it's a freaking glitter, but, or glitter-based anyways. But yeah, definitely wet it, I suggest. Now, I want to make it a little darker. I didn't do this for the photo, but I'm going to do it for here. I'm going to take a uh, big blendy brush, and I'm going to take this dark purpley blacky freaking color and it's called Huckleberry, Huckleberry Finn. And I'm literally just gonna go boop once in it, that's all I did. And I'm gonna, my dog's looking at me like I have five legs, but you know. I'm just going to blend that in the crease because I want it to be a little more dark but not crazy. Like that looks sick. Boop. <laughs> you gotta make the sound effects. And with using this glazed color and mixture, actually a mixture of glaze and dessert on me, I'm gonna put that on my eyebrow bone. Glaze is just a more, um, a more, it's matte and dessert on me is shimmery, so I'm just gonna mix the two and say freaking yellow. Then I'm gonna take dessert on me and put that in the corner because I want that shimmer shimmer. I'm also gonna take the um, white uh, side of the highlight and put that on the inner corner. Cause that'll really brighten it up. And then a little, with a little essence brush, I'm gonna be taking that Guilt Free Gray mixed with the Sugared Raisin, just both of them, and putting it right here on my lower eye. So oh, that's the eye look. It's really simple, but like really cute. And also, like I said, the main focus is the lip. I've I've already, I've been chatting for like half an hour already, but no, it's fine. So now I'm gonna be taking a liquid eyeliner, and honestly, these are the two eyeliners I use. They're just like liquid ones with this kind of tip. Just with like these ones you can find it anywhere, but I literally don't know the names of these because they're so freaking old It's just rubbed off. So I'm sorry. I do a flick first and then I grab the flick run it and connect it Run that shit connect that shit So I'm gonna do that now The phone's ringing Grab your Garnier Skin Active all-in-one cleansing water and you grab yourself a con <laughs> If anyone watches Zoe 101, hit me up. 
and I literally just put a little bit on the end and I grab the end and just sweep up, sweep up, sweep up. And as you can see, it makes a little triangle. You grab the other end of your handy dandy Q-tip or whatever you want to call it, cotton swab. Grab that end, and then you're like laughing because you got yourself a freaking wing. And then you just grab the other end that's not covered in black shit. And like, bam, that's a cute wing. Like, ooh, who am I? Cute wing. And then I'm going to use my Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to do that on the top lashes. Didn't mention this, but I'm going to be using Clump Crush on my bottom by L'Oreal. It's my favorite. Okay, so then I'll do my mascara and I'm good to go. And then I go over my boo -boo 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 highlight and then, because you know, and I'm taking a stiffer brush this time. Because I want that shape to be popping. And now we're going in with the lip. And this is in shade Media by MAC. And it's just this deep berry. And like it looks really deep. But once it's on your lips, it looks so red and like very cute. Very cute. Okay, so this is the lipstick on, and I feel like this just pulls the look all together. Um, also, you can add a classic red. This is Russian Red by MAC, or you could do a deeper berry, anything your heart desires. I feel like it's just really festive to have a darker lip, especially like berry and stuff for the holidays. So I'm really excited. I feel all festive by my Christmas tree. So last thing is you get your highlighter, of course. Grab your finger, get that highlight and put it on your cupid's bow. And you're literally good to go. So this is the finished holiday look. I'll come closer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. It would mean so much. And comment down below any video suggestions because I definitely want to start uh, doing more. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.